So I have a lot of things on my to-do list. I did make myself a cup of coffee. Okay, so. <laughs> Hey guys, welcome back to our channel. If you're new here, my name is Yazel. On our channel, we like to talk about everything between motherhood, lifestyle, faith, and marriage. So if you're into that, make sure you subscribe and welcome. If you are returning, welcome back. I sound sick. Yes, my voice is finally starting to come back. I also feel like the last two weeks, we've been sick in this house. Since we've been sick for the last two weeks, literally our home has been, um, What's the word I want to use? Neglected. Our home has been neglected. Our kitchen has not been deep cleaned. Um, our living room, our carpets have not been deep cleaned. Between stomach bug, um, we think we kind of had the vid. One of us did. Um, we had a lot of those symptoms. We had a lot of symptoms going on in our house. We still really don't know what we had. Um, but we do know that we were sick. So, we have like six loads of laundry. Needs to get done. Bathrooms need to be deep cleaned. Beddings need to be washed. We have the trampoline bouncy house in here. Needs to get folded and put away in the garage. It's been a whirlwind the last two weeks. We have literally just been cleaning up what we can to keep the house from completely looking like trash. Okay, y'all. So I finally dropped Bella off and it's been an hour. I've accomplished nothing. <laughs> this is realistic. Junior is walking around just with a diaper on. I need to find him some clothes, get him dressed. Me and him, I, I don't want to say I didn't do anything. We played for like the last 30 minutes because I got back home at like 8.25. So for the last 30 minutes, me and Junior have been playing. I hope this is good today because I've just been a little different. I actually think it's really good. Not bad. So I am going to get to cleaning. I'm going to start down here and work my way up. Um, it's easier for me to do the bathroom when Junior goes down for a nap because I'll be upstairs. He'll be upstairs in his room so I could just get that done. I'll probably do the laundry. I think the first thing I'm going to do is clean up the kids toys right here in the living room and back, uh, shampoo the carpet and vacuum it. And while that's drying, I'll go downstairs and let Junior play in the play room so he can get his energy out. It is now 10 o'clock, I think on a dot. And we're currently in the playroom. As you guys see, the last thing I did was vacuum and shampoo the carpet upstairs. We're gonna read some books and play. And wow, I'm gonna try to get him distracted so I can run to our room, grab another load of laundry and start the washing machine. Let's get into it. It is 11.10, Junior fell asleep at 11 and I just held him and rocked him um, for a few minutes because like he's almost one and I can't believe like how fast his first year flew. Now that he's sleeping, I have to get things done around the house because if I don't do it, no one else will. My husband probably will. I know I told you guys I was going to do the foyer while he was playing in the playroom. That did not go as planned because obviously <laughs> he was showing signs that he was tired so i needed to give him a really quick snack so he, it can like hold him over breastfed him he'll be down for a nap like i feel like i've been moving all morning and i haven't gotten anything done so what i'm actually gonna do is i'm gonna run upstairs i'm gonna spray our shower down just so it could like sit for a little bit i'm gonna get their bouncy house out of the other part of the kitchen sweep that up i'm just gonna do his a lot of little things to where it looks like I've done a lot, but I really haven't done much. I did manage while he was in his playroom to run upstairs and get a load in the washing machine. So if that is done, I'm going to put that in the dryer. Um, and then I'm also going to start laundry. A lot of things to do, a lot of things to get done. I don't even think I asked you guys, how was your day? Like today's Monday and I feel really good, even though I'm sick, given the fact that I'm sick, I feel really good. Like I feel like me getting so much things done around the house is setting the tone already for the week. So with that being said, this is done. I'm gonna go ahead, get the bouncy house up and let's just get rumbling and rolling. You guys are gonna see how messy that part of the house is. So yeah, let's get started. So 
It is now 11.30 and I am waking, actually gonna be waking Junior up from his nap at 12. For the last 20 minutes, I did manage to get a load up, which is what you see here. I'm about to fold it, separate it, fold it. So I haven't eaten lunch yet. I'm gonna eat lunch when he does wake up. Cause like I said, that is lunchtime, 12 o'clock. Um, I feel like I have accomplished a lot. So even if I don't do anything else after he wakes up, I will be okay. Um, but my intent is to basically keep working as much as I can. I'm vlogging for you guys. So let's go ahead and spend the next 25 or so minutes folding this laundry, separating it. I have two more laundry baskets back there full of clothes that I need to also do. But as long, those are in baskets. So I'm okay if I don't get that done until after he wakes up. This sitting on the couch, I need to get it done and put away before he wakes up because once he wakes up, it's gonna go all over the place. So let's get started. It's only 11:40, and I got the first load done. So I'm gonna go ahead and start the basket. This has two loads in it. Um, we went through so much clothes the last two weeks because, like I told you guys in the beginning, we were all sick between the stomach bug, possibly the vid. It is 12 o'clock on the dot. I ran up another steps a couple of times to go put our laundry on the bed, so I don't put them away. Right after I fold them, I find that I am more productive when I just go upstairs and just put them on the bed and get to the next task. I always put our clothes away while Junior and Bella are taking a bath because they're upstairs for about 45 minutes, 30 to 45 minutes. They literally can be in the bath all night if we let them. So I just found that it's easiest for me to just put the clothes away while they're in the bath and me going on to the next task. It is probably 12.01, 12.02 now. I'm gonna go ahead and get some gloves so I can clean out the standing shower in our bathroom. I'm gonna open the windows in our bathroom to get the smell of all of the chemicals out and then I'm gonna wake up Junior and we're gonna have lunch. It is now 1.45 and I feel like I haven't accomplished much of anything, <laughs> honestly. I'm trying not to beat myself up. Like I said, I had a total of six loads of laundry to do. I was able to fold three loads of laundry earlier today. I still have a load and a half that's been lingering around from before we were sick. That is in the brown hamper and I just never got a chance to fold them. So if I have a chance, I'll do that today. If not, I'm just gonna get these three loads finished and done. So I have this load to do right here that I just took out the dryer. I just put a load in the dryer and then a load in the washing machine. And all of the laundry is done. The only thing I need to do, and I'll do that tomorrow, is I need to wash, wash our bedding. I need to wash my bedding and Junior's bedding. And like I told you guys earlier, Bella just got a big girl bed with a brand new bedding, literally like four or five days ago. So she's good on that. I don't need to wash hers. I'll just wash hers next week. So it doesn't seem like I got much done, but I really did a lot today. And I'm still not finished. I'm about to bring out like a whole bunch of toys that Junior hasn't seen in a while to try to keep him distracted. I am still gonna try to finish this foyer because I just want to get this foyer out of the way because that's like, I think this is on my to-do list for Wednesday, but it's a small task and we're already down here playing. So I'm just gonna try my best to keep him distracted as much as possible. It actually looks like he's falling asleep. I'm gonna try to keep him up a little bit longer because he hasn't been up that that long. Um, so I'm about to stop feeding him, pull some more toys out. Hopefully that distracts him. I have a foldable chair, some foldable tables that I need to put in the garage and some stuff that needs to get organized and while he's down here playing i'm also going to take advantage and try to vacuum the steps down here so i can at least get that done so 
he's down for a nap i have two more loads of laundry right here i am so happy that i was able to get these things done like i don't think you realize how much relief i feel so i'm gonna get right into it so i can get this stuff done okay it is 4 30 junior is still sleeping but he probably will be waking up very very soon babe is on his way home he actually should be arriving very soon also i did manage to get all of the clothes loaded upstairs on my bed so when i get the kids in the bath i can put them away i hung everything up there's literally literally nothing out of place i did manage to vacuum the steps so that leads upstairs and surprisingly junior did not wake up so literally everything on my to-do list for today i'm a little hot i'm a little sweaty now <laughs> everything on my to-do list today i did manage to get done So it is 7.43 and the kids are eating yogurt for breakfast. I was not feeling well this morning, so I did not go to the gym and kind of threw my, little, my day off. I'm gonna get started on my coffee very early because I'm really tired and I still have a lot of things to get done on my to-do list. We have um, our landlord and some contractors coming by today to take a look at the bathtub that's been leaking. And I need to kind of get out of their way and Tuesdays is my upstairs. Day. So I'm gonna finish what I can down here while the kids are eating their breakfast. Around eight o'clock, I'll get Junior dressed and then take Bella to school. I don't let Junior eat breakfast with clothes on because he's very messy. So to prevent all of that, to prevent multiple um, clothes changing during the day, I just literally take his clothes off, leave him in a diaper while he eats. That's breakfast, lunch, and dinner. I'm gonna finish breakfast with the kids, unload the dishwasher, and that's what my morning is gonna consist of right now. today is wednesday and i am literally doing an impromptu <laughs> weekly vlog it was supposed to be a deep clean with me but i felt like absolute crap yesterday so i did not really do anything today i have a load of laundry that i need to do i need to start cleaning deep cleaning the kitchen because we cooked yesterday we made ribs mac and cheese and sweet potatoes i really don't have to cook dinner for tonight and honestly I won't have to cook lunch either tomorrow. So on today's cleaning schedule, I need to deep clean the kitchen and dining room. I have been like maintaining it, but I haven't been thoroughly cleaning it. So I am gonna do that. And that's gonna be my main focus for today. I still don't feel 100%, but I'm gonna push myself today because tomorrow's Thursday and Friday is literally my it starts my weekend so i like to chill on fridays since i did not start editing my video last night i am going to edit it today while my son is up i'm going to be able to get all of my cleaning done during his nap time so while he's up i'm going to let him have a little bit of screen time edit this video so i can get that out for you guys and during his nap time i will deep clean the kitchen dining room that typically takes me anywhere between 30 to 45 minutes i have a load of laundry that it's in the dryer right now i did it this morning i also need to unload the dishwasher there i didn't really make any dishes this morning because isabella wanted pop tart for breakfast and i made myself boiled eggs and i have one dish to wash one pan to wash because theo asked for fried hot eggs with toast i also need to actually strip the linen from our beds and wash that so actually while he's up before i start editing i'm actually gonna go do that i hope you guys are enjoying this weekly vlog i did make myself a cup of coffee this is the i found this recipe on instagram this is the french toast vanilla french toast iced coffee if you guys want me to make a short on how to do this let me know in the comments down below because i will this was literally so easy to make so simple and it is so good it literally tastes like french toast like you really don't even need to add 
any sugar i added a little bit of sugar because i do like my coffee extra sweet <laughs> i don't know why i just love sweetness so with that being said let's go ahead and get the cleaning Hey guys, it is now 4.33. Hubby should be here any moment. We are gonna be leaving out soon. I still have to get dressed, still have a lot of things to do. My phone is actually on like 10%, so I need to put it on the charger, but I did manage to clean the kitchen. So I wanted to show y'all. Um, and I have one little laundry I need to uh, fold really quickly and do. Um, this other basket, I'll put that on the to-do list for tomorrow. Half of that is just clothes that the kids no longer fit, so I need to, like, put that away. Um, but outside of that, I am very happy with the outcome of today. It wasn't everything I wanted to get done because I really wanted to take Thursday and Friday as a relaxing day for myself before the weekend. But it's okay. I'm going to take advantage of what I can get. And that's just Friday, and I am okay with that. guys so i just spent the last five or so minutes actually talking to the camera that was not recording so yay for me i'm just gonna have to repeat everything that i said it is now 8 35 <laughs> isabella and theo just left as you've seen both kids woke up a lot earlier than what they typically do so it was a little hectic morning this morning for breakfast i made pancakes eggs um, me and theo both had oatmeal the kids both had yogurt right honestly i'm gonna use today as an entire day for rest i don't know if you guys can see or tell with my glasses on but i my eye is hurting i don't know what it's caused from it just came like all of a sudden and it hurts actually like really bad it start like it's crusting a little bit so i'm trying to like not put my hands in it so much um i say that as i just finished putting my finger in my eye but it hurts really bad i do have a doctor's appointment on saturday so i'm gonna have them take a look at it and see like what's going on um, i did fall asleep with my contacts but i typically do like 90 95 percent of the time um so i'm just not sure why but i'm gonna leave my contacts out and i'm just gonna use today for rest i'm gonna try to take a nap um because this pain hurts a lot watch a little bit of tv just relax today we do have gymnastics today so i'm gonna take you guys behind the scenes for that i'm gonna try to record as much as possible but within the last two weeks Isabella has had uh, four new friends join her class and now it makes it even more difficult to record because there's a lot more children now and I personally do not like to record other people's children. If I do anything interesting or if anything interesting happens that I want to tell you guys, I will pick the camera back up but I don't foresee much happening today. I'm just going to use today to completely rest. Tomorrow is going to be a prep for the weekend for us to prepare for the weekend so I'm just going to take today to entirely rest and then yeah, we'll see you guys later tonight. Good job, nice control. Up. All right, can you do a big jump? And woo!
y'all this is the second time that i thought i pressed record and i never did so good morning it's friday it's the last day of this weekly vlog and i did something different i did go ahead and plant all my seedlings that we grew what are you doing you're getting me dirty with your peanut butter crackers it is 10 50 in the morning of course he woke up again at well he woke up earlier than he did yesterday so he woke up at six bella woke up at 6 30. as you can see what i did this morning was plant my seedlings i had one orange seed that was successful and the rest of them are cantaloupes i currently have growing spinach cilantro green spring onions lettuce carrots and green beans i also have an avocado pit i'm gonna see if i can turn that into an avocado plant and that's all i have growing right now at this moment bella's been on a grapes kick recently so i'm gonna do some research to see how i can get some grapes growing I may not be able to do that this year, but at least that can be on my radar for next year. So I'm going to see how these seedlings turned out. They came from the lemon, sorry, the orange and the cantaloupe came from a store-bought orange and a store-bought cantaloupe. And we're just growing it from there. So did the avocado. I wanted to see how successful that was going to be. And if it is successful, I will definitely be doing that more often because honestly, food is so expensive. And if I grow them at home it can shave us some money because you guys are getting big <laughs> so yeah that's all i'm doing for today i am still gonna rest because i'm still not feeling 100 percent and it is going on three weeks and he is rumbling and ready to go so we're gonna go to the playroom and have some fun i will pick up the camera if i decide to do anything outside of what i've already showed you guys for the week hey guys as i was editing this week's video i noticed the outro disappeared so i'm so sorry about that but thank you guys so much for watching this week's video if you guys liked it please be sure to give it a like and comment down below your favorite part and before you leave make sure you subscribe and join our family and turn on your post notifications so you are notified every time we post a new video until next week bye guys